Okay, uh, so welcome back to this video in which we are proving uh, that closed balls are in fact closed sets. Okay, so we've uh, we've got got through this initial. Uh, the, the first scenario is that the closed ball is equal to the whole space X. Um, and in that case, we know that the, the closed ball must be closed because if you take its complement, it's the empty set, and the empty set by definition is an open set. So in that case, we're done. Uh, the other case is that uh, the closed ball is not the entire set, and in that case the complement is not equal to the empty set. So, uh, there is at least some element which uh, is in the complement of the closed ball. So we took this little element, y, and we said the distance between x and y is some h which is greater than r strictly greater because if it was less than or equal to the toile then it would be then this point y would be in the closed ball uh, center the x of radius r and now what i'm saying is we need to show that this point y is an interior point of the complement uh, of the closed ball and the way that we do that is we find some open ball um, around the point y which is completely contained within the complement uh, and that's what i want to show you so okay that's a uh, so this is what I want to show you. This is what I'm required to prove, RTP. Okay, uh, so uh, we're going to do a proof by contradiction. Okay, so suppose this is not true. Suppose this is not true, so, i.e. the ball at center that y of radius h minus r is uh, not completely contained within, so it's not true that this is contained within uh, the complement of the closed ball at center the round x of radius r and to take that complement. Uh, then it would be true, uh, this would imply that there exists a point, uh, let's say uh, z, which is an element of this open ball uh, center the round y of radius h minus r such that, I want to complete it down here, such that z is an element of the ball, uh, the closed ball around x of r. So basically, what I'm saying, and I'll dr draw a picture for you. Okay, so let's get some more paper. Okay, so that that is um, that is a f um, I need to I need to show you why this is true. So if we have our metric space here, and we have some closed ball here, centered around the point x. And what we said is we found some y which is in the complement of this closed ball. So this is the closed ball around the point x of radius r. And now what I'm saying is that the distance between this and this is some h. And I'm taking, and the distance, the radius of this uh, ball is r. And now what I'm doing is taking a open ball, so I should draw it dashed like this, around y of radius r minus h, which is the distance, the uh, length rather, of this little bit here, okay? Uh, because the overall, uh, the length from x to y is h, and the length from x to this point is r, so we're going to let this be r minus h. And now, what I wanted to show you is that the ball, um, ball, this ball here, which is the open ball centered around y of radius h minus r, I want to show you that that, that, that is completely contained within the complement of this closed ball. So I want to show you that this is not, not no point of this is in uh, this closed ball. So the opposite of that, if we're doing a proof by contradiction, is to say that there exists some point which is an element of here. So there is some point which is in this clo in this open ball which actually is in here. So we're doing a contradict. We're doing a proof by contradiction. So we suppose the opposite of what we want to prove and show that it leads to a contradiction. Okay, so we have some z, which is an element of this open ball, b, y, h, minus r. So, uh, to draw another picture, if you, we have the closed ball here, what we are now assuming is that actually these, this open ball, which I should have drawn dashed, I apologise, so this is the open ball around y of h minus r. We're assuming that there is some point z, which is in both of them, okay? Um, and we're going to show that this leads to a blatant contradiction. Okay, uh, so we've got some z, which is an element of that, and z is also an element of the closed ball around x, r. Now, what we can do is we can say, is we can basically show that this violates the triangle inequality. We can say that the distance between x and y, i.e. Uh, this distance here, so uh, the distance here between x and y, so this is x and y, so I'll draw my z somewhere else, I'll draw it up there. The distance between x and y, uh, should be less than or equal to the distance between x and z 
plus the distance between z and y. So it should be less than or equal to the distance between x and z is that bit, and the distance between z and y is that bit. So that's the triangle inequality there. Okay. Now, the distance between x and y, uh, we know, is equal to h. We also know that the distance between x and z, the distance between x and z, since z is an element of the closed ball uh, centre the x of radius r, we know that this is less than or equal to r. We also know that the distance between z and y um, is less than uh, r minus h. The reason being that z is also an element of the ball of the open ball centered at y of radius h minus r. Okay, so what we can now do is combine these two together to say that the distance between x and z plus the distance between z and y, let's do it rigorously. Let's say what we'd really do is we'd add onto both sides of this, we'd say the inequality is still true if we add onto both sides the distance between x and uh, z, and then what we do over here is we'd add, uh, so from this one we get that, from this one uh, we can add onto both sides the distance between z and y, so the distance between x and z plus the distance between z and y uh, is uh, less than uh, or equal to r plus the distance between z and y. Okay. Oh dear, what, where am I going wrong here? <laughs>